Now we are going to see the social media sharing and printing features. In this part of the menu, we are going to find different features to share our photos via WhatsApp, email, SMS, or on a slideshow to be screened, or last, lastly, the option to print. To send a photo via WhatsApp, it is very important to have downloaded WhatsApp on the same phone or tablet you installed the Fun Event Photo Booth app. If this is not the case, you will not be able to share photos via WhatsApp. When you click on the WhatsApp tab, it will directly ask you to input a text. This text will appear by default as a chat that goes along with the photos or GIFs you share on WhatsApp. With the email function, we can activate two options. If we only choose the email tab, we are going to use the email application we have installed by default on our tablet or cell phone. This email application needs to be configured correctly to send emails. Therefore, remember that if we choose only email, we will be using the email application we have configured on our tablet. Furthermore, we can include an email subject heading and a message body which will appear by default directly on the email application. However, if we wish to send emails from the sponsor's server with a template created on HTML, we must activate the option Email from the organizer's account. In this case, you must fill in a series of additional parameters. SMTP, the port, the sender's email and password, and the security system configuration at hand. Also, we have a document on, on this link with instructions on how to configure it in the case you wish to use a Gmail account. In this case, not only can you put a subject heading, but it is also very cool because you can create an HTML template with a message. Next is the print function. If we activate it, we will have the option to print from our tablet. To print, the tablet always needs a laptop with Windows and a printer connected to this laptop via Wi-Fi with no internet required. By default, only one copy will be printed of each photo. If we activate the option multiple copies, the app will give the option to print one to six copies of each photo. The SMS option is very similar to the WhatsApp option. We only need to input the SMS text that we wish to send along with the images. The newly taken images will be sent automatically with the text once the user has introduced his or her phone number. If we activate the event gallery, you will save all the photo GIFs by pressing the TV icon on the app after taking each image. If you do not press this icon, the images will not be saved. It is a way to ask attendees of an event for verbal consent to have the picture saved on the event gallery or to be projected on the screens live. When you activate the function Event Gallery TV, you can see six icons which lead you to URL websites which show in a slideshow all the photos and GIFs. Or two icons that lead you to the photo event gallery or to the GIF event gallery. And the last two icons lead you to compressed files with all the photos and GIFs. We remind you that photos will only be saved if the TV icon is pressed upon taking the images on the spot. If this icon is not clicked, the images won't be saved.